I wanted to show how to start a project. What you want to do is to sync it up like as fast as possible. Everything before you can actually start editing is something that steals energy and creativity from you. We use Max and Magic Bullet actually to create a color profile. This is already applied, so we already have a template. So we know that it's a cohesiveness throughout every video. First of all, you want to synchronize the footage. I highlight the camera and you know the two adjustment layers with the color and I nest them. Whatever I do out here will not affect anything inside of it, which is the non-destructive way of working. If you have a lot of cuts here, one feature I would definitely recommend start using if you don't already do it is the scenes edit mm. detection that will automatically scan your footage and then apply cuts to where all the previous or the other cuts are really useful saves you a bunch of times so you don't have to sit and manually press them because it just takes energy for a creator if they react to stuff or if they teach you things they usually have like a full body cam or full full camera and they have a react camera basically like a smaller camera in the corner one thing you can do is that we have the nest here i can just call this cam i copy this and paste it and i rename it to react i'll drag this in i go into the react nest and i delete all of this and i replace it with the cam instead every change i make here will affect both cameras. I already made a bunch, a bunch of <laughs> presets, which is great. You should definitely use presets and all of that. But we have something called React Cam. And I can also add a graphic where I add another preset, which is the cam border. So now you see like they are both showing right now, but they are all synced. So everything you do will affect both of them. There are different sections of the video and usually what i do is that i just color them like this the way i change my colors as well is that i have a little stream deck that also makes it so i can like go into that part and see if there are things i can cut out if it's too long or not it can help for engagement but it's also just you know you don't want anything to drag on for too long i'm gonna start with the motion tween tool because that's one of the tools I use very frequently, especially during the assembly process. So what Motion Tween does is that you throw it in between uh, the clips. That's also why I use guides, because I usually snap that onto one eye. And whenever I do zooms, I want it to kind of line up because your eye kind of looks for other people's eyes. Let's say these are just cut up and then I can just add different zooms. So 125. 115 and 155 let's say or 66 i guess and then i'll add the motion tween tool here uh, onto the first one where it does the zoom and then what i can do is that i basically can press ctrl and drag over these cuts and then press ctrl v how long did that take? Like a second. It is a time saver. Using Firecut, it's a great way of adding captions. The way I usually do it is that I set the in and out points here of like I and O. And we press transcribe. We already made a preset, but there's so much things you can do here. We have a few versions for Gal. So this is the one I usually use. And once you're done, you can just add style to the sequence. It's animated and I didn't really have to do anything about it. Version 24.2.1 is now rolling out. Yeah. So really neat tool. Thank you so much for having me.